to know you, getting to know all about you, getting to like you, getting to hope you like me, getting to know you, putting it my way but nicely, you are precisely my cup of tea, getting to know you, putting it my way but nicely. Suddenly I'm bright and breezy Because of all the most wonderful new things that I'm learning about you Day delighted, as I said earlier, with our audience tonight. They're warm and they're friendly and they're from all over. We have people from Lake and Heath, we have people from Sutton, from Cheam, from where else you're from? Harrow. All over the place. Italy, we even have people from Italy. And we have a party from Her Majesty's Barracks at Chelsea, some Chelsea pensioners. And would you give them a nice big hand? We're delighted to welcome some Chelsea pensioners. No. It's very nice of you to invite us on here, Mr. No, O'Connor. No, I didn't invite you. I'm Sergeant Grimshaw. Yeah, how do you do, Sergeant? Yes, Sergeant. It's you and I'm... Wait! I'm... Who's Carl? Sergeant Grimshaw. I'm Sergeant Grimshaw. Will you... Who's Carl? Will you go down and help it? You're all, you're all right. Now, no, now, just, now just, Mr. O'Connor... Who may, is that? Uh, may I have the pleasure of... Inter- I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's his Corporal Hardacre. Is it? Corporal Hardacre. Oh, yeah, that's a funny thing. It's my name. Hardacre. <laughs> well, how do you do, sir? I never realised there was anybody... Who's in the the how? <laughs> Look, just, just calm down. You yes. see, I just wanted to introduce you... I was delighted that you came to see us. Oh, how nice, yes. But, but if you could kindly get the gang together... And yes, just go, sit right down here, oh, ladies. No, 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 all together. No. All together. All together. Boys, this is Bombardier Blowland. Bombardier Blowland. Blowland, yes. And in Scotland. Is he injured there? Yes, he got shot in the Dardanelles. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Clark Main. Hello, Clark Main. How, yes. how do you do? He's getting better. He's <laughs> getting <laughs> This is, this is Roby, we call him. What, why do you call him Roby? I don't know. I haven't sort of a reason yet. And this, this, this is, um, this is Floatman, Bill Floatman. Yes. Bill Floatman? Uh, yes. How do you do, Bill? Uh, Roby? Yes. Hi. Uh, well, oh, there you come. Uh, now just calm down. Yes. You're out here. You've obviously plotted and planned something or you wouldn't have come out here, right? Why don't we do pudding on the Ritz? Oh, I wish I had you take that. your place. Just, oh, just really. step back. Move, move, move <coughs> if, back if, a bit. if I can have one cane and one hat, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do our very... Are you, re- are you sure you can cope now, Father? Oh, oh yes, oh, you're oh, all yeah. right, Roby. It'll yes. mean a bit of movement. Oh, yes, yes. Well, you want it. Here we go, then, with... We'll drink anything. Put it on the Ritz. <laughs> If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Put on that rich! Different times you wear a thing, it's with stripes and kind of weight, it's a good fit. Put on a rich! Dressed up like a million dollar trooper, trying hard to look like Gary Cooper. This is who
day. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> We need a fast, quick finish. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Time, is it? I'm hungry. Can you see the clock on St. Martin's for you? <laughs> the pigeons in the way. Hey, any road, I'll tell you something. When your stomach calls, it's not far short of one o'clock. Hey, that's up here. Yes, right. Oh, the breeze in springtime. <coughs> With a moon in June. I will be. Hey. <laughs> so, <laughs> who's off now? Well, proper Charlie and me. What have you done? <laughs> I've left it behind. <laughs> um? I've left it down there. Have you? <laughs> down there? It's in the tin. You see? <laughs> it's all... It's all wrapped up in greaseproof paper. Get it off. <laughs> How do you understand? Me sandwiches yeah. are in the tin down there. It'll be a long dinner hour, isn't it? <laughs> Alf? Huh? They look nice. They are nice. Alf? What? What are they? Sandwiches. I know they're sandwiches, but uh, what kind of sandwiches, Alf? Cheese. Cheese? Yeah. Oh, I love cheese, Alf. Oh, yeah. Total. 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 Alf? Huh? What kind of cheese is it? Clown pump. Huh? Clown pump. You really like cheese? Yeah. Smelt that. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> that Is that all you got? Just cheese? Oh no, I've got ham, turkey. How? What? And I'm hungry. Well, you would be with your sandwiches down there, wouldn't you? It's time to read it, you get the pains in the stomach, you've not got any food going inside it. Damn shame, you that. How? What? We've been friends a long while, haven't we? We have that, yes, that's true. Alf. What? I'm starving, Alf. I can no. see you've got a funny colour. Mm. <laughs> starving, Alf. <laughs> I am. You know, you know something. What? You really are hungry, aren't you? I really am. You really are hungry. Can <laughs> you hold that? No, I'm not hungry. It's all right. <laughs> have we got a pen knife? Yeah. Hang on. I am. Yeah. We're down there if we didn't. The head! Jeep! Wait! <laughs> Could you throw that sandwich back, please? 
Oh, blimey. That was me and one went there, you know. Don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> you are a dicker. <laughs> think I'm going to open a sandwich with a bottle opener. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Right, here you go. I'll do it with that. Here we are. String? I can't eat string. Well, I know you can't, but if you tie it round your finger, you'll remember to bring your sandwiches tomorrow. <laughs> Every nation has its great exports. Here's one of our very best. Ladies and gentlemen, Dusty Springfield. song about all the film stars' names. Did you know Al Jolson's name was A.C. Olsen? Are you aware that Fred Astaire's Fred Austerlitz? And I will bet that Anne Margaret is Annie Olsen and Eddie Cantor's is E.S. Cowitz. Rita Hayworth's name is Margaret Cancino. Barbara Stanek, Ruby Stevens, think of that. Margaret Locke, or so they say, started out as Margaret Day, and Boris Karloff was William Pratt. The <laughs> name like that, the only one who's going to frighten is Mrs. Pratt. <laughs> it makes me crease that said Cherise is too lefigly. Did Doris Day think Miss Von Keppelhoff too posh? Could Charles Bronson see himself as Charles Businski? And Marlene Dietrich, Mary Magdalene Von Losch. Would you believe that William Holden's Billy Beadle? Ray Milan was Reggie Truscott Jones, of course. Would Lawrence Harvey make the scene as Larushka Miskaskeen or Tony Curtis as Bernie Schwartz will dance? It's 
That even Ingo Bert Would hardly claim that I was being saucy If I said he sang as well as Jerry Dorsey Cary Grant Judy, Judy according to his aunt He's really only Archie Leach from Bristol Gig Young could not go far As Byron Elstrom Bar. Now, if you ask me if Miss Blackman's name is Honor, I'm sorry, I cannot help you there. But if you ask me if my name is Des O'Connor, well, it is. When the weather is fine, then you know it's a sign for messing about on the river. If you take our advice, it's really quite nice. Messing about on the river. There are long boats and short boats and all kinds of craft. Cruise boats and keel boats and some with no draft. I'll take off my coat and hop in, in the a boat. boat. Go messing about on the river. <laughs> chat oh, must be please heavy. lazy shade, we'll sip lemonade while messing, messing about on the river. Then we'll moor to a key and have crumpets for tea. <laughs> messing about on the river. We'll drift into alcoves and in For cucumber sandwiches and a few beers And a couple of mince pies And we'll start to capsize Messing about on the river <laughs> And say, Mildred, did you see their wash? I didn't actually see the soap in the first place. You see mullards and swans Swans and, and old, old Oxford dogs Messing about on the river See willows and vines and rather rude sights. Messing about on the river. Now we'll sail down to Windsor each, each Sunday, Sunday in spring. spring. If the flag's on the castle, we'll call on the king. God bless we'll you. leave it to you. Ta ta to you. Messing about on the river. be a one-way river. I think so. Good I say, fancy a drink tonight at my place, Mildred. Well, if it is, we do think we all. Well, it's better than messing about on the river. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you like it? What, what can I say? It's not too much. <laughs> Frankly, yes. You mean it, really? Well, it's a little Well, much. I, I could do this. What do you think? Well. <laughs> Want to try that? Uh, uh, uh. Lee, it's, that's not really, not really me. I don't... It's not really you? Not really. What is really you? You know, that's why I am so flattered that they asked me to tell, you know, all the folks back home in my country and in Canada, what is really you? You see, they don't know you back there like they do here in England. You know, you're a household word here. And because I'm such a personal friend of, of Les, uh, <laughs> Les uh, <laughs> they asked me, Uh, you know, to tell you something about him. I, I really don't have to tell you about his many faceted talents. Yes, you do, yes. I do. Yes, I'd like you to. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. I don't have to tell you that he's a marvelous uh, comedian. He's a wonderful teller of jokes and stories. And he sings and... and uh, uh, well, I, do I, a lot of things. I don't really have to tell you what Dessel Connery is. Because, <laughs> well... That's O'Connor. 
Oh, really? No, O'Connor. Oh. I have, so... I have so much trouble with your name. Why, why can't you have a simple name like Liberace? <laughs> but what we don't know is his human values. What about the real person? What is a Desso Concord? <laughs> now, to answer this question, what is a Desso Connery, may I introduce some of the people who really know him like I do and love him as I do. First, please meet Nurse Amelia Whitechaps, who first picked up the newborn child. Oh, <laughs> he was a born comic. From the very first moment we set eyes on him, love! <laughs> Whatever happened to you, lad? <laughs> Three of the nicest people I've ever met, she was. <laughs> and now, let's meet his father, the man he looked up Dad? to. Dad? I'm the proudest man in the whole wide world. My boy's done everything for me. He's bought me a house in the country, a yacht, and even this, my best suit. <laughs> No, he, he was kidding. I, I didn't buy him the house and the yacht. <laughs> well, apart from making a success in the British entertainment profession, Des O'Connorbug has become a well-known racehorse owner. He's distinguished in the racing fraternity for such jumpers as Resolved. Well, that's not fair. He delivered the milk that morning. Oh. Baby Spot. <laughs> Very humble horse. He's always on his knees. And Bermondsey? Well, at least they're consistent. <laughs> and here is the jockey who has ridden his horses to fame. Funny, we haven't been at all lucky over the jumps. But maybe next season we'll make it on the flat. What do we start at today? At 20 to 1. What do we finish at? At 10 minutes past 5. <laughs> well, I tried to paint a little picture of you for the folks. Is there anything else I can do, Les? Des? <laughs> Lee, I don't know how to tell you this, but I, I think you've done enough. Fly me to the moon And let me play Among the stars at this stage it'd be nice to sing a nice romantic song keeping the mood of love going I saw you last night and got that old feeling when you came I got that old <laughs> moon with me pass by. I felt a thrill. <laughs> Mr. O'Connor. Alf. 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 Yes. Ipitittimus. How do you spell it? Two ips a pip and a titimus. <laughs> we, we are to play. We, we have. Have you gone? He was here. We got. Four. Great. Here, do you know I've got one just like that? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Alf, I don't know what you want to do, but if I let you do it quickly, will you leave so I can do the song? Yes. Well, I'm going to give the show a boost, you see, Mr. O'Connor. I'm going to do a recitation, The Green Eye of the Little Yellow God. Ah, yes. Yes, it's Kipling. Eh? It's Kipling. It's funny, it was lovely when I came in. <laughs> Kipling was purported to have written it. Oh, yes, well, he should have we. Yes, he... Oh! He, uh, I... Milton Hayes actually wrote it. You're going to do it, are you? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the green eye of the little yellow god. Thank you. Two hours off. I think I'm getting it. Well, I hope it's here for Christmas. 
the green art, yes. There's a, a, a green hunt, the yellow one, the non I mean, there's a small bad guy, the wall is very, very worthy. Alf! 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 Are you doing it? <laughs> have you started? I'm halfway through. You're halfway through? So am I. Yeah, look. We couldn't hear you. You know, that's not clear enough, Alf. Hmm? You've got to enunciate, you oh. see. It's got to have action, gesticulations. Yes. Where's your gesticulations? Don't answer that. <laughs> I'll show you. Yes. Right? Yes. The hands are terribly important. Are they? Yes. Watch my hands. Yes. Watch them. Yes. There's no lens in the glasses. I know, they opened my eyes, so I took them out. <laughs> Ready? Yes, sir. The green eye of the little yellow god. There's a green eye yellow idol to the north of Kathmandu. There's a little marble cross below the town. Did you see it? No, did it? Come on. I, I was watching. Try it again. Right? Yes. I'll show you this time. I'll yes. do all the hand movements for you. Yes. Okay? Uh, yes, I've right. got it now. Turn it away! I always wanted to be in a big cast. Look, Alf, I'm, I'm going to explain to you. Yes. These are your hands. The dance I cleaner than mine. You do the words, I'll do the accent. Right, I see. Get off. <laughs> you don't understand. So do we're not that daft in Lancashire. Look, these are your hands. Oh, I see, and you'll do it for me. That's right. Right. <clears throat> Recitation. I <laughs> The green eye of the little yellow god. <coughs> that eye. There's a the half eye. <coughs> There's a green eye yellow idol to the north. No. <laughs> the north. Chapman do. There's a little marble cross below. Below. <laughs> below the town. There's a broken-hearted woman tends the grave of Mad Carew. <laughs> While the little god forever gazes down. Down. <laughs> he was known as Mad Carew by the subs at Chapman do. He was hotter than they felt inclined to tell. But. For all his foolish pranks, blah, 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 <laughs> he was worshipped in the ranks, and the colonel's daughter smiled on him as well. Hey, the colonel! <laughs> what are you been eating? <laughs> Tell them what you just told me. <laughs> <laughs> Give a whole lot. He's a freak. <laughs> he had loved her all along with a passion that was strong. That, oh, <laughs> that she loved him was plain to see for all. She was nearly 21 and arrangements had begun. <laughs> Give a whole lot. To celebrate her birthday with a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Could we have that ball back, please? <laughs> huh? On the night before the dance, Mad Carew stood in a trance and, uh, dance! They chaffed him as they puffed at their cigars, but for once he failed to smile as he sat alone a while, then went out into the night among the stars! He returned at break of dawn with his coat and tunic torn. Hey! Hey! What are you playing at? Best shirts. Oh, look, you've torn a button off. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's all right for you. No, I don't reckon that. <laughs> I, 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 ha! <laughs> Just ha! <laughs> oh, Wait, will you get over with a gash above his temple dripping red? In the mama, <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you know, without my glasses, I'd swear that was a real egg. <laughs> it is a real egg. <laughs> With a gash above his temple, dripping red. Ooh. Oh, in the top.
public bath? No, only these guys. <laughs> I'm in a public bath. Simply because you wash it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. I'll get him. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Supercalifragilisticexpialy. Don't shush. When I'm calling you. I'm not quite sure what we could follow that with. Do the names. Pardon? The names. The names routine. Well, I'd like to do that, sir, but uh, it's very difficult, just off the cuff, and we don't have an arrangement. Do we, Jack? Yes! yes. <laughs> Strangled voice from the band room saying, yes. All right, it looks like we'll do the names. I have a book. Of very early film stars Names that once were big stars Stars who thrilled the cinema patrons Some you'll know Perhaps like Clara Bow And some we are forgetting Like Taylor Holmes or maybe Ruth Etting I've made a list Of some who need recalling Some more who were appalling And then some more now lost in oblivion They were seen Upon the screen Each a star, here they are Start counting there's Hilary Brook, Elisha Cook, Cecile Aubrey Smith, and Freddie Bartholomew, Donna McBride, and Andy Clyde, Veronica Lake, and even Jeff Moratou, Lauren Bacall, Thurston Hall, Virginia Bruce, Jack Holden, Troy Donagu, Flicker and Lassie, and then Raymond Massey, Roy Rogers and Trigger, and know what to figure, had head in a mile, Deborah Carr, Zachary Scott, and then Esther Williams, and Bart McLean, and Lola Lane, and Marjorie May, and millions and millions, and Ronnie McDowell, and Eleanor Powell, Virginia O'Brien, and soon there are billions, Elizabeth Patterson, Victor McLaglen, and then Tom. Then Lau Talbot, then Eddie Albert, Anna May Wong, Arthur Lake, Corinne Calvert, then Alice Faye, Eddie Rochester Anderson, Alan of Valley and Jay Pat O'Malley, then Jeff Corey, then Peter Laurie, Montagu Love, Bahrain, Dun Dun Before, Victor Mature, Dodgy Limbo, Charlie Rambo, Zsuzsa Gabo, a Hillary Book, Elisha Brooks, a Sea Aubrey Smith, a Freddie Bartholomew, Donna McBride and Andy Clyde, Veronica Lake, and even Jeff Morrow Lauren Bacall, a Thurston Hall, Virginia Bruce, Jack Holden, Troy Donegan, Sabu Lloyd Corrigan, Margot King, Donovan, Lassie, Earl Holland, and Maureen O'Sullivan, Head in the Mar and Deborah Carr, Zachary Scott, then Esther Williams and Bart McLean, and Lola Lane, and Marjorie May, and millions and millions, and Roddy McDowell, and Eleanor Powell, Virginia O'Brien, and soon there are billions now, Addison Richards is in a few pictures with Rin Tin Tin. Milton Sills and Edward Debrey Dalton Then there's Charlie Lawton Chester Clute and Edna May Oliver Harpo Marx War Bond and then Ned Sparks And then Maroney Olsen And Ruby Keeler with Joel Jolson Harry Devonport and Tide on Power Sasuya Akayawa Eric Bloor and Daniel O'Hurley 
Joel McCree, Francis D, Jack LaRue, Frank McHugh, Tom Conway, Laura LaPlante and Gary Grant and Felix Hunt and Jimmy Durant and Edward G. Robertson, Edward G. Robertson, Edward G. Robertson, Edward G. Robertson, Edward G. Robertson Michael O'Shea and Steve Jure, Al Ray, Virginia Gray and Edward G. Robertson, 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 Edward G. Robertson. Let's think of another one, Larry Buster Crab and Nazimova, Arturo Di Cordova and Douglas Dick and Robert Montgomery, Russell Hicks. Paul Ford and Herman Briggs But now he's called Bruce Bennett Stills of Jim Wills and some of Max Sennett I have got to snap I've got no Ronald Reagan Then there's Richard Egan Donna Crisp and Sylvia Sidney Lumsden Hare Bob D. Bear, Jeffrey Lynn Keen and Wynn, Gene Hershow Everybody sing now Hilary Brook, Elisha Cook, Sissy Obie Smith And Freddie Bob Holland, who Donna McBride And Andy Clark, Veronica Lee And even Jeff Lawrence, Lauren McCoy Virginia Bush, Jack Holton, Troy Jonigan, Flicker and Lassie, and then Raymond Massey, Roy Rogers, and Trigger, and no one to figure head hit in the bar with Deborah Carr, and Zachary Scott, and Dennis DeWin, Bob McLean, and Lola Lane, and Marjorie May, and millions of men, and Roddy McDowell, and Eleanor Pye, Virginia Bryan, and soon there are bills now, Spanky McFarlane, and then Richard Allen, and then Faye Wee, then David Farah, then Theda Barra, Maureen O'Hara, Edward G. Robinson, Arthur O'Connell, Janet McDonnell, Hardy and Lowe, Edward G. Robinson, 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 and that's the lot. <laughs> Good evening. 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 And welcome to our second show. And they said it wouldn't last. There were some uh, lovely telegrams we got from America about the first show. I even got a telegram from Bob Hope. Well, I think he, said, he sort of left something out. All it said was, saw your show, stop. <laughs> I even got a telegram from President Nixon. He acknowledged in the first show in America. He said, pollution, integration, strikes, and now this. <laughs> the show's obviously had quite an impact in the States. All over America, people are saying, what is it, Des O'Connor? And how many miles does it get to the gallon? <laughs> As a matter of fact, the show made trans... Well, it sort of made history. We received the first obscene transatlantic phone call. And they even reversed the charges. <laughs> got a lot of telegrams. I'd like to read you a couple of the letters as well. Very nice to get letters from abroad. From America, that is. That's abroad. Loved your show. You're performing a great service. You're helping us to forget Tiny Tim. <laughs> then we got our first complaint from America. Well, can't win them all. Dear Mr. O'Connor, you ought to be arrested. I saw you deliberately teasing that cute little dog by jamming your finger down his throat. <laughs> no wonder he hates you. I do too. I'll never watch your show again. Sign Lassie. Well, just to prove that I do love animals, I'd like you to meet the dog and the owner that were on last night, Jim Cooten and Rex. Come on, Jim, bring Rex. I find a lot of people are a little bit concerned that uh, you know they think Rex doesn't really like me. What's the... oh. <laughs> Oh, he does like you, really, you know. He's only acting. He's a good actor. Is he? Yes, go on, give him a pat. Well, uh... I, You're I all right. Go on, give him a pat. He's quite all right. You think I should? Yes. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that surprises me, that, because really he's very quiet and nice. Uh, uh, just try it once more. Oh, he's a great fan of mine, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> try it once more. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, why would that... Dog behave like that towards me. I'm friendly, I'm, I'm yes. lovable. But what I think he's found out is that I'm a comic and you're a comic and we both tell gags. He's a bit jealous, you know, that's the trouble. What about singing? Oh, he likes your singing. He liked your last record. Well, that's the idea. We'll sing it. Oh, Jack, a couple of bars of any time. Perhaps that'll please oh, me. That'll like it.
Hello. 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 I say, what sort of a cell have they given you? Well, just have a look at it. It's it's cold and, it, and it's damp and it's it's horrible. It's rather sordid, really, isn't it? What's yours like? Not sure. No, oh, no, mine's absolutely gorgeous. Really? I, I'd love you to come through, but I haven't got my trousers on. Wall <laughs> <laughs> you know, to wall carpet and Louis Carroll's furniture and high five. High five? Yes, yeah, and a huge and lovely bed. Really? And a snooker table. You know, billiards, yeah. just in case I get leverage. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I say, uh, what's that? Well, it's bread and water. I think it's breakfast, tea, and dinner. What a dirty, rotten show. Not very nice, is it? It isn't very nice at all. It's all I've got. All you've got. Good. What you got? What have I got? Mm. Well, I've got roast chicken. <laughs> spring, spring uh, 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 peas. Spring peas? Yes. <laughs> they sort of bounce, you know. They bounce? Yes. New potatoes. New, oh, I love those. Oh, and I'll tell you what I have got. What's the that? most lusciously gorgeous thick gravy. Oh, got some of it on her. Do you like to taste it? Uh, uh, no, better, better, better not. I haven't used my finger bowl. <laughs> I love thick brown gravy. Do you really? Sure, yeah. I think it's delicious, that. I say, would you like me to dip that bread of yours in my thick brown gravy? <laughs> would you really? Oh. You're such a sport, because I love it. But will you wrap it all over it so it's oh. nice and soggy with a thick brown oh. gravy? Oh. <laughs> you rotter! Rotter! Wash your mouth out of soap and water. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is, uh, this is Pat Dodd. He's my accompanist. And uh, Pat travels everywhere with me. He's the only one that can play Hillary Brook. He likes your cook. She sings. He's a good golfer. He's a great friend. And he writes songs. We've written quite a lot between us. But the producer said, do that another week. This week, Des, we'd like you to do a kind of an Andy Williams song, nice and relaxed. This sort of thing. For those who fancy coloring books, and lots of people do, I've a new one for you. A most unusual coloring book, the kind you never see. Are you ready? Very well. Begin to color me. These are the eyes that watched her as she walked away. She would always be true Color it blue These are the arms that held her And touched her and lost her Until she came between Color it green This is the room that I walk in And sleep in and weep in and hide in
There's a lot of new talent appearing on the British show business scene right now, and here's a bright, bouncy young lady we'd like you to meet, Miss Cloda Rogers.
the show so far we've been trying to give you uh, comedy and singing but I don't think I've ever danced have I speak to Desmond no. No. so I thought I'd give you a little treat this week dancing you ready dancing you don't believe it do you do you believe it no you think I'm miming don't you yes. somebody up behind there doing all the beats I'll make it difficult one hand. <laughs> no hands. <laughs> Get ready for this. Watch it. Watch it. Oh. <laughs> See that? And without a net. <laughs> I never use a net. Little curly grips at the back. <laughs> Here's the difficult part. I'm going to do a six beat walk. On the face, John, not on the feet. On the face, on the face. <laughs> Jokes whilst walking. Two little sparrows. Two little sparrows on the top 
I'm a telephone wire, and one said, don't those long words hurt your feet. <laughs> Our fellow went into a chip shop. He said, have you got any chips left? He said, yes. He said, it's your own fault for cooking so many. <laughs> Our fellow went into the doctors. Not the same fellow. He said, I can't stop eating grapes. The doctor said, don't worry. Lots of people eat grapes. He said, what, off the wallpaper? <laughs> <laughs> Questions whilst dancing. Knock, knock. Who's there? Yoko. Yoko. Yoko, put your clothes on. <laughs> Here's a little part. Giving orders whilst dancing. Bring on the stool. You should be dancing, Kapoor. You should be dancing. <laughs> Stage struck lunatic. He had his elbows made up for that. <laughs> and now here's the most difficult part of all hearing the applause whilst dancing as I finish this routine. Hearing the applause as I finish. Recently, the rest of the world was introduced to the Tom Jones TV show, Engelbert Humperdinck, The Saint, The Avengers, and now we'd like the rest of the world to be introduced to one of England's children's television programs. Right. Today's the day we play with Dandy Sandy. But wherever do you suppose he can be? I can't see him anywhere, can you? Oh, did you see that? There it goes again. The curtain moved, children. Did you see the curtain move? I do believe that there is someone doing something behind it. <laughs> No, he didn't know. <laughs> oh, you are a funny little puppy, Dandy Sandy. Now, what are we going to do today? <laughs> Shall we sing a little song? <laughs> All right, we'll sing a little song. <laughs> and you can do a little dance to it if you like. we dance, Dandy Sandy. You know the way we dance. <laughs> when the music starts. I know. Let's sing Ring-a-Ring-a-Roses. <laughs> now we all know that one, don't we? <laughs> now don't be silly, Dandy. We sing it every other week. You must know it. <laughs> Ready? And ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of roses, a tissue, a tissue, all fall down. Now wasn't that fun? <laughs> Dandy, I know. Perhaps it would be better if you had someone to dance with. <laughs> but who shall we get?
Dandy Sandy? <laughs> now we were just going to dance Ring a Ring of Roses, Teddy. Would you like to dance with Dandy Sandy? <laughs> Now, Teddy, put your ball down and let's begin. Ready? And ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of roses, a tissue, a tissue, all fall down. <laughs> no, no, Dandy, that's not the way to treat Teddy. Now say you're sorry. Tell Teddy that you're sorry, Dandy. Dandy, give Teddy a great big kiss. Teddy. <laughs> oh, you are a naughty Lucy. You threw Teddy's ball. Teddy, go and get your ball. <laughs> now, where were we? Hi. Oh, yes. It's nearly time to go home. I said it's nearly time to go home. Dandy Sandy, it's nearly time to go home. Dandy! Time for Dandy Sandy to get into his basket. <laughs> there! Isn't that nice? And now it's time for Lucy Loose to get into the basket. to get into the basket I have another bottle.
perhaps a small aperitif before you order? Well, I think I'd like a nice, dry sherry. Certainly, sir. The menu. Thank you. I've been recommended to try the trout. Ah, oh, the speciality of the house, sir. There's just one excellent trout left, sir. Fresh from the tank. It is Mr. O'Connor. Yes. Oh, I never miss your program, sir. You can rest assured of our very best attention. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, sir, while you're considering the trout. <laughs> Thank you very much. Psst. Over here, inside the tank. There. I say, do you know who I am? You're a fish. Yes, but what kind of a fish? A talking fish. You realize that I am a trout. A trout? I've just ordered it. Yes, I know, Mr. O'Connor. You know my name? I used to be quite a fan of yours until now. You know, there's not much difference between us, really. We're both seen behind a bit of glass floundering about. Floundering about? Oh, well, I hope you enjoy eating me. Just a minute, I don't think I could eat you now, not after talking to you like this, I mean... Oh, I'm sure that I'll taste pretty... <laughs> pretty good, really. <laughs> this is extraordinary. I can't get over you knowing me. Oh, yes, it's... It, it's. I, I say, I wonder, would you mind speaking up a little bit? I'm a little bit hard of herring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I think of them. You see, I, I'm mad about show business. You're not. There's no business like show business like show business like no. That's fantastic, isn't yes. it? <laughs> I fancy myself as a bit of a performer. Oh, maybe you saw my last film. What was that? A Star is Spawn. <laughs> a Star is Spawn. I like that. Mm. Well, it's extraordinary, a talking fish, I mean... I oh, just... yes, but I, I can do other things as well. I, I sing a bit. You sing? <clears throat> I'm all for you, body and soul. Soul, you see, body and soul. I, listen, this is tremendous. Singing, talking, joking fish. You'd be a riot in show business. Oh, do you think so? I'm sure I you... can do impressions as well. I knew well. you would. Oh, yes. I knew you'd do impressions. Thank you. I bet you can do an any, anyone at all. Anyone you care to mention? Uh, James Stewart. Certainly. Uh, uh, well, no, it, uh, it all depends what, 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 what sort of thing you want me to say. Eh? Thank you, Charlie. I'll give you a kiss for me. Uh, 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 Kirk Douglas. Yes? Well, of course. If you want a, a more dramatic voice, Kirk Douglas has a most dramatic type of voice. <laughs> What about uh, Jerry Lewis? Oh, that's easy. Nah, I can't give you anything but love. Please, please. You'd be a riot in show business. Do you think so? Oh, you'd knock every other TV show right out of the ratings. You're much too kind. Anybody else would look nothing by the side of you. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Mr. O'Connor. You're fantastic. <clears throat> have we made up our minds, sir? Yes, we have. We'll have the trout. Well done. <laughs> Last year, I had the pleasure and the honour of starring at the famous London Palladium. And the show ran for nearly, well, eventually it was nine months. And I loved every second of it. And none more than the moment when I said, can I have my cane, my hat, and one of those songs. <laughs> But it's one of those songs Over and then One of those songs ah, They're playing it again One of those songs You can hear 
for a while Comes into fashion then goes out of style One of those songs you think you forgot It's one of those songs you cannot know It's one of those songs can make you recall A ride in the springtime, a walk on the fall A day in the country, a night on the town The sun coming up, or the rain coming down Or else the evening you parted, or the morning you met The love of your life you won't ever forget The reason is simple, the memory belongs To one of those wonderful songs It's one of those songs So easy to hear oh, They play it just once You know it by ear It's hummed over ends It's strummed on guitars But all you remember is La 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 And later on you recall it in Some other year You may start to smile Or you may shed a tear You know that what part of your lifetime belongs To one of those wonderful songs None for me, thank you. I don't drink. Excuse me, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Uh, oh. He'll tell I know. Yeah. Hey, hey. Terrible thing happened. What's happened? Well, I was getting changed and somebody stole my blue jacket and... Oh. <laughs> yes, well, see you later, Mr. O'Connor. Do you know what you <laughs> They had to change all the opening captions. Yeah. They had to take pictures of my kneecaps. They had yes. my what? knees made up. Oh, hey, you've got hairy knees. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, they look like pipe cleaners. <laughs> We won't be a moment. Excuse me. What are you doing? Get him off. Get what do you mean? Get him off. We, we won't be a moment, ladies. Well, no, I'm going here. It's here. not very nice. Well, uh, hey. <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. <laughs> Notice what? Your tattoo. <laughs> Could you give me up with this buckle, yes, Mr. O'Connor? Do it! Won't be a moment, excuse me. No, the buckle at the back, Miss yes, Drunk. Sure. Get it up, please! <laughs> oh, what a relief! Oh, that's lovely to get that off. <laughs> Oh, heaven to well. Yeah, I'll give you a hand with your coat, Mr. O'Connor. That's the way. I'm sorry about that, you know. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Yeah, not only you. <laughs> you. You don't know, do you? Look. <laughs> I see. All you want now is the aeroplane. You've got the hanger. Do it, I'm I'll see you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, will you give a really big welcome to a good guy? It's always great to be working with friends, especially when they're as nice as Val Dunikin. I really appreciate you coming. I know what a job it is to get you off a golf course. No, I was, a, I was losing anyway, Des, so it didn't matter today. We've, uh, we've had a lot of letters, well, phone calls, actually. Have you really? Yeah, about it. About, about what? They want to see it again. <laughs> they want to see it again? Your ear! The my, one, oh, the, my ear! The one we showed at the opening. You my know? ear, yes. I, my ear always goes well. This, this ear? <laughs> yes. I say, I say, I say. What does this ear remind you of? I don't know. What does this ear remind you of? This ear ear. Every one of Jim. I think we stick the singing, will we? It's a Come good on. idea. Well, what? we've got the situation. We've got nice, comfortable seats. What do you want to sing? Uh, well, with all due respect, as I wouldn't call these nice, comfortable seats, you know. No, no. You know, and I took the precaution, just in case it had happened, I, if you don't mind, I brought my own chair. Oh, that's nice. Today. What do I do, stand? No, 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 there's nothing selfish. I brought one for you as well. Would you like to come? Walk this way. Uh. <laughs> hey, Val. <laughs> Is this the one you use on your show? No, no, no. That one has gone in for a service. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll sit here. Now, I tell you what would be nice, when you sing these kind of nice songs, if you could sing, sit by the fire. Can we have a fire on, please? A little fire. A little fire. Here she comes. Here she comes. On mobile. Watch this. Here comes the fire. Isn't that beautiful? Now, well, could we have the lights down a bit, Des, please? Oh, yes, we can do that. Can we have some nice romantic lights, please? Alec! Electrician! <laughs> <laughs> All the gems are in tonight. <laughs> can we have... Can we have the lights down, please? You know you're in trouble here. You've got no power, you know. Uh. Can we have the lights down, please? Great. Now, when you've got the right mood, you've got to get the right songs. There's nice, relaxed songs like this one, and everybody knows them. They're all very popular. I love you because you understand me. Every single thing I try to do. To lend a helping hand But I love you most of all Because you, you Would you like to join me? I'll sing with you And no matter what the world may say about me I know your love will always But most of all, I love you, cause you, you, welcome to my world, won't you come in, miracles I guess, still happen now and then, I Waiting just for you Welcome to my world That's why I love her Right around midnight After days been so good Have you ever 
Ladies and gentlemen, we really have a treat in store for you now. A sensational act all the way from Australia. They've been tremendous in television and in nightclubs. I haven't actually seen them myself, but I know they're tremendous. So give them a big welcome, the Wallaby Sisters! You see, there's talent if you'll only just go out and look for it. saying that says you can't get too much of a good thing. And to prove it, here they are again. Yes, you've guessed it, the Fantastic Wallaby Sisters. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> Thank you. I hope, uh, I hope you like my car. Have you seen it? It's a very nice model in Ireland, this. And uh, don't laugh, don't laugh. You should have seen the job we had getting here. We were okay, we got to Piccadilly Circus, and you can imagine. <laughs> so, <laughs> will you just take him out and fill him up and put him in the car park? <laughs> and this, good <laughs> man. Thank you. <laughs> I brought this along, by the way, because so many people have asked me if they could see. This is the thing my wife uses to make all the sweaters that I... <laughs> So you, you can imagine sitting behind it. Now, you know, all this trouble they've gone to just so I wouldn't have to tell you where I come from, as if you didn't know. No, because you couldn't tell by my accent now, could you? <laughs> no, no, no. But one of the snags, you know, is every time I sit down like this and pick up the guitar, I always feel that a lot of people are saying to themselves, now, I wonder if he's going to sing an Irish song. And, of course, a lot of other people have got stronger views on this, and they're all sitting there saying to themselves, oh, don't tell me he's going to sing. <laughs> Now, there's nobody knows this better than me, you know, because I've been an Irishman now for the best part of my life. So, <laughs> this is what I do. Look, I sing a little Irish song that lasts about 20 seconds. Now, it's very quiet, so I'd like absolute shh during this. There we go. Shh. Shh. Together I love and beat them all in any kind of weather She doesn't wash the powder off because she doesn't wear it Her face and figure are all her own, is through for I declare That she's a fine, big, strong lump of an agricultural Irish girl She neither paints the powders and her figure is all her own But she can hit that hard, oh, you think it was the kick of a mule You got the full of your arms of Irish love was Mary Ann Malone Now she's only 17, last grass and still improving greatly. I wonder what she will be like when her bones they set completely. You think your hand was in a voice the moment that she shakes it. And if there's any gin around, it's Mary and that takes it. Cause she's a fine, big, strong lump of an agricultural Irish kettle. She neither paints nor powders and her figure is all her own. But she can hit that hard. Oh, you think it was the kick of a mule. You got the full of your arms of Irish love was Mary and Malone. That's it. more time. <laughs> hey, it's for you. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, uh, uh, would you like to take that, Mr. O'Connor? Well, it's very nice, but... Thank you. You see, uh, from my mother, she said that because she said you never had any flowers in the last show, so as it's her birthday, she... She, 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 she said that one for you, you That's see? very kind of her. Yes, thank you. And... and uh, <clears throat> ask her, sir. Ask... Oh. Yes, sir. Yes. Just calm down. Yes. I appreciate the flower. Thank you very much. Yes. What is it? Ah, yes, well, you see, my mother, mother actually grows a lot of flowers. She's a horticulturist. So's my mother. He's an art <laughs> Yes, she does that as well. And she, 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 what kind of flower is that? Oh, that, 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 that's a chrysanthemum. Mom, 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 mom. Hi. <clears throat> what other flowers does your mother cultivate? Oh, oh, she, she actually cu cultivates a, a rhododendron. Drum, 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 drum. Yes, beautiful. Does she ever grow any narcissus? Sigh, sigh, sigh. Sister, 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 sigh, sigh, sigh. Hey, there's something up with you. Well, I appreciate it, but if you just kind of who, who hop it. Oh, yeah. no thanks, I've just put one out. You see, this is a surprise. It is to yes. me, yes. Good. Today is my mother's birthday, you Oh, see. that's fine. And I said, well, don't worry, Mum. I'll come on Desi's show. You don't mind me calling him. Wait. And uh, <clears throat> I'll come on, on... I think they're about, you know. Yes, they're flying low. They're about that colour, most of them. Anyway, I said, I will go on Desi's show and sing a song for you, but I don't want to leave you out of it, Mister. Oh, how thoughtful. Thank you very much. So I thought you could do the actions to the song of Emmis. Emmis? Emmis. Never heard of it. Oh, you must have done it. Emmis for the million things she gave me. Ooh, I've never, never heard of it. I'm sure none of the boys in the band. Anybody in the band know Emmis? Yes! Yeah. How'd you go? Emmis for the million things she gave me. <laughs> no, no, it is. It's very popular, uh, Mr. Rock. All right, now, what do you want me to do? I'll help. Well, you see, Mother, unfortunately, is very hard of hearing. Hard of hearing? Yes. <laughs> and... You see, the trouble is, her eyesight's not too good either. How's her elbow? Much better. Oh, yes, yes, much better. So I thought, if you do the actions of the word mother, I will sing the song and she'll know it. Let, let me see if I've got it. You want me to, to kind of do the actions and then, and then you'll sing and then that'll be it and you'll leave? Oh, yes, sir, yes. Fine, let's do it. All right. right. Do, you need, do you want a key? Uh, no, I'll let myself out. <laughs> M is the first Oh, M. How's that? Hey, that's fair. Looks like an M, that. M is for the million things she gave me. O. Oh, how's that? O? Oh, hey. O is for the O in growing old. T. Could you, could you answer the phone, Mr. O'Connor? Yes, thank you. You still... You still want the tea? I'd sooner have a brandy. Tea. Tea. Tea is for the tears she said to save me. E. E? It's H. <laughs> Would well, you have a mother or a motor? <laughs> H. 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 That's it. Yeah. H. Are you all right? Because you, you've got a funny colour. <laughs> so would you. Yeah. H is for the heart in growing old. E. E. Uh, oh, um, don't go, it gets better. Yes. <laughs> Quick. E is for her eyes with love light shining. R. No. 
Eh? No, I'm not going to do that. What, you got to? I am not doing that. Well, Mother won't know what we've said if you don't do the R. All right. <laughs> as right she'll always be let's get it over with put them all together they spell m-o-t-h-e Just too good to be true can take my eyes off of you You'd be like heaven to touch I want to hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Take my eyes up of you Pardon the way that I stay There's nothing else to compare The sight of you leaves me weak There are no words left to speak But if you feel like I feel Please let me know that it's real You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you did we used to do? <laughs> America. America has sent us uh, many of their crime television shows, so we thought it was time we sent them one of ours. Oh, yes, Prime Minister. 
Yes, certainly, Prime Minister. Oh, no, sir, don't worry. We've got the very man for the job. Thank you, sir. Send O'Connor in. Yes. O'Connor, we are facing the biggest crisis ever to hit England. Don't tell me Tom Jones has got a cold. <laughs> Bigger than that, the toll, the jewels, the crown jewels are missing. From the Tower of London? <laughs> no, from the Tower of Pisa, you idiot. There's only one man that could want them. Who's that? Richard Burton. <laughs> Ridiculous. Seem to forget he has his own. Come forward, Agents 38 and 39. 39? <laughs> Will 38 and 39 be coming with me on the mission, sir? What do you mean, 38 and 39? Don't be ridiculous. These girls, will they be coming with me? Girls? They're not girls. They're agents disguised. They're two men. <laughs> I find that very hard to believe. So does my wife. <laughs> Have you any idea who did it, sir? Oh, yes. We know who did it. And we know where they hid the jewels. But to catch it, it seems as if we need a man with keen intelligence and superhuman strength. <laughs> and that's why you sent for me? No, everyone else was on holiday. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now, here's the plan. You are booked on the next flight to Tokyo. Tokyo. As soon as you get there, go straight to your hotel. Sir. Outside the hotel, you will see a street musician with a monkey. Yes, sir. He will be wearing a false beard. The monkey? No, the musician. <laughs> be very careful, because he is the most dangerous criminal in the Far East. The musician? No, the monkey. <laughs> You will then cross over the road to the Sukiyaki Corner House. The Sukiyaki? <laughs> the Sukiyaki. The Sukiyaki. Stand on the pavement and face due north. Face due north. Then a ten-ton lorry will reverse slowly over your right foot. <laughs> Don't make a sound. Then, go inside the restaurant and order a cold cup of coffee and a piece of burnt toast. And when he says, why do you want cold coffee and burnt toast? I will say, because I'm homesick. <laughs> your contact will then place in your right hand two dozen kippers. <laughs> one Spanish onion and 12 cloves of garlic. From then on, you're on your own. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> O'Connor, there's one thing I must tell you. Your life will be hanging by a thread. But don't worry, we hate to lose men. So Scotland Yard has come up with some quite fantastic life-saving devices. Here, we have the new calf knife. This, when strapped to your leg, becomes a, an incredible weapon that will be very handy in any emergency. Opening letters, maybe, or cutting up a side street. <laughs> O'Connor... This is the Dick Tracy shoulder gun with the Roy Rogers trigger. <laughs> the Roy Rogers trigger! And that, that contains dum-dum bullets. Dum-dum? Nothing personal. <laughs> O'Connor, this is incredible. Is it? Yes, you don't wear it like that. Put your arm through the centre, man. You never worn one of those before? Well, yes, sir, but... Shut up. This... <laughs> This is the new lightweight dispatch case, which contains 80 hand grenades and one bazooka. A lightweight case? Of course. Fantastic! I'm sorry, sir. I'm just a little bit... Just put the phone down. It's, it's a lightweight case. A lightweight case. I'm so sorry. That's sir. all right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. O'Connor, this is no time for jokes. No, sir. I just I'm a little, a little uh, nervous, you yes, see. Yes, well, don't be nervous. Just relax and simmer down. Yes. Now, this... This is the Marshall and Crumpet chest protector. <laughs> and when this is worn, it cannot be noticed even under the most highly tailored jacket. <laughs> and it will stop a 50-pound shell at six inches. <laughs> O'Connor, 
Come over here. Uh, yes, sir. Closer, O'Connor. Yes. This, this may look to you like just any ordinary old boot. It smells like any ordinary old boot. When I tell you that Charlie Dixon invented that boot. Charlie Dixon! And Charlie Dixon doesn't mess around with any old boot. Well, I've seen with a few up at oh, Kenny. This boot is incredible. These boot laces are, in reality, 150 yards of climbing rope. Fantastic! And the tongue. The tongue? The tongue is, in point of fact, a shortwave radio transmitter. yoo Certainly not. It's British made. <laughs> the heel. The heel. In there is contained 30 gallons of black oil. When triggered off, will black out an entire city. <laughs> Give him the boot, girls. This O'Connor may save your life. What is that, sir? An inflatable raft and also an inflatable jacket, and inside there is 12 months' supply of frozen food. Just fantastic. Just in case you need it in an emergency. Now put it on and put his jacket on. O'Connor, remember everything that I've told you. You're ready now, so run off, O'Connor, and Godspeed. Connor. Sir? Well, come here when I'm talking to you. <laughs> O'Connor, from the time you leave my office, they will be watching you. So, whatever you do, try not to look conspicuous. <laughs> That's all. Oh, no, Connor. <laughs> Hurry up, man. O'Connor. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> there are times, O'Connor, when you try my patience. <laughs> Good luck. Sir, has he any chance of coming back? This may be Scotland Yard's finest hour. But this time, he's facing overwhelming odds. But I know that I've picked the right man for the job. That is the sort of man that made England what it is today. O'Connor always comes through, even against impossible odds. That man is walking a tightrope, but don't worry. He'll get his reward one day. Up there in the police station in the sky. It, ladies and gentlemen, what more can I say? The Wallaby Sisters! I'm speechless. I wonder who put those girls on our show. introduced you now a, a young lady of whom we're very proud of here in Britain because she won 
the Eurovision Song Contest for us. Let's have a nice welcome for a very talented young lady, Sandy Shaw. Yes, oh, oh, here, it's through the haze, my lord. 
And you, oh, the bricks, I, um, me lord, I had to, I, I, me lord, uh, are you all right, sir? Good oh, gracious me, I'm terribly sorry to wake you, but it's, it, hang on, me lord, oh, it's time for your sleeping pill. <laughs> In America, I believe you call them albums. Here in England, we just call them LPs, which means long playing records. It's the same thing wherever you are. I just hope you like our new album or LP call any time. And this song is beautiful. It's called Pen in Hand. With pen in hand You sign your name Today at five I'll be on that train And you'll be free And I will be alone So alone If you think we can't find the love we once knew If you think I can't make everything up to you Then sign your name and I'll be on my way I'll be on my way Can you take good care of little Johnny? Can you take him to school every day? Can you teach him how to catch a fish and keep all those bullies away? Hear what I say. Can you teach him how to whistle a tune? Can you tell him about the man in the moon? If you can do these things, then maybe he won't miss me. Maybe he won't miss me. As you lay in that big lonely bed And you look at the pillow Where I've laid my head With your heart on fire Will you have no desire To kiss me And to hold me And if you can forget All the good times we had If you don't think the good times Outweigh all the bad Then sign your name And I'll be on my way I'll be on my way What is it that we're living for? A floor's a floor Nothing I know brings on the glow A luck, sweet floor You're thinking you're through with it, That nobody cares And then suddenly you Hear it starting And somehow you're in charge again And life's a ball Trumpets all sing, life seems to swing And you're the king of it all Cause you have a taste of Hey, the sound that says love A floor's 
Yeah. 